What's going on my G's, your boy Snow Ignorant Gamers in the house. How you doing? How you living? How you gaming? Today's video is brought to you by me getting an Xbox external hard drive. And I'm going to show you how to get your external hard drive to work with your Xbox One. Now, I picked up a Western Digital My Passport Ultra. It is a one terabyte, quote, premium storage device. Auto Cloud, Backup, Ultra Secure, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter because I'm not using it for that. And this is, again, a 3.0 Passport drive. It is not powered by a secondary source, which is very important because it's going to be powered through the USB, which is going through the Xbox. And also, if you are someone that has instant on on your Xbox, your drive will always stay on. So you may want to unplug it or turn that feature off and just know that turning that feature off will turn off other things like you know when you say Xbox power on I don't want to say it too loud because you know you see up and up right it says try saying Xbox now I've never done this before and also I've heard it's very simple so what we're going to do is press start go to settings and we're gonna go over to system over here we got a couple names I need to change this but what I want to do is manage storage so as we can see right here I am screwed when it comes down to storage excuse me as I as I uh, stop that and um, you know it's looking pretty bad it's, it's looking it's looking really bad and as you see at the bottom it says Xbox One can use two types of USB storage, games and apps or media. Games and apps and storage need to be formatted for the Xbox One, but you can enjoy music, video, and pictures from almost any USB device. Requirements for games and apps is very simple. It is you need a device that's 3.0 or faster, 256 gigabytes or larger. And you guys already know that we've already covered, and I've already said that my X my external hard drive is connected to the Xbox and I know it's working because when I touch the hard drive you can feel the hard drive spinning so what we need to do is activate that Xbox stop listening and you can see right here what I have here and it says find more in the store but it also these things here are ready to install these are things that I had to take off the Xbox to make room for something else I damn sure want this back on um, I want to put this back on and I have reasons behind that I want to put this back on it's reasons why I haven't been playing this so yeah we're back at this at the front screen and there's supposed to be an easy way just to do this and I've already had it plugged in so what I'm going to do is unplug it and plug it back in and it's supposed to just recognize it well, okay it's not recognizing my hard drive that is uh, huh. I'll be right back now after I plug it back in for some reason mine isn't reading and there we go external media storage ready so one little tip that I did was I plugged it into a computer first because it didn't read it the first time I did this and um, we're gonna go ahead and see what we could do with that hard drive um, now I, I'm assuming we got two ways we can get to it could probably get to it from here because it said it's ready let's see what the browse media says should be nothing in it media player needs an update we don't want to do that so screw that um, let's go back into the settings I wonder why I'm not seeing it should have been something else that popped up but here we go external 93 I mean sorry 93 931.4 gigabytes <laughs> I'm having an issue right now so we're gonna format this for games and apps 
and it says set up external blah 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 morning yes we have nothing on it because it is a new drive and again i did plug it into the pc and then plugged it back into my xbox and it worked for some reason when i just plugged it straight in it did not do it so we're going to give it a name Okay. Nope. Keep current location. We're not putting new things on the hard drive. Although I've heard that things on a new hard drive tend to work faster. But my idea is to put games that I play. Fucking rude. To put games that I don't play a lot or often enough on the external. And if anyone knows, and Uncle Rizza can damn sure tell you that you have. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing like uninstalling the game because you're mad or whatever reason and then you have to reinstall it because we all trying to get it and it shit takes like 50 hours to install so you can't do it so you're better off just doing that and moving it to the second hard drive so the view the contents there's nothing there but here's how you see it I have the, I, the ability to storage device here or to see recent installed here um, has the internal and basically we're up and running so there you go here you have it I'll have the next video of how to move stuff off from one drive to the external hard drive alright your boy snow like the video if you got any questions comments drop it in the below you got any other quick tips let us know your boy snow and I'm out one